So what we're doing here is removing these galvanised tin strips. They've been guillotined and um, they were put on in to keep the draft and weather out of the gaps on the um, slab construction. What we'll be doing is replacing those with um, some uh, hand cut um, flat and corrugated iron. That's a little bit more in keeping with the, um, the heritage and the, and the nature of the build. This is the wall once all the tin um, strips have been removed. And as you can see, there's a lot of deterioration, in the, in, in, particularly in the base of the slabs, but also the base plate is completely um, ruined there from white ants and rot. We'll be raising the base plates that we replace up to a height that and it enables us to remove as much of this rot as we can off the bottom of the slabs and they'll be um, raised back up into the head plate as well. What this does here is sheds, will shed some of the water back off in the weather and it should keep it there good for another hopefully 30, 40, 50 years. We'll see how we go. Might be around and fix it up later. This little add-on where the um, toilet was is in the original works and at some stage this was the slab that was used up the other way so you've got the rot that there and they've just reinstated it up upside down. So we'll be able to reuse that one. Cut the old nails back through and it, where possible we reuse these and that's a good indication of that everything's going back in, in its original position. Everything lines up like that, so it's another clue you can use when you're putting the jigsaw puzzle back together. The importance of the drainage around um, the, the base plates and the, where the timber meets the ground is really important to carry as much water away as possible and that's where earlier talking about the, the sandy soil that the building is constructed on, that's really helped in its preservation over the hundred or so years that it's been sitting here because this is a really loose friable soil and it has allowed the water to drain away quite, quite quickly. So that, that's been a big benefit to the building. This is where we're going to do that little tiny bit of retainer wall to be consistent with this line of the building so that when they do the the landscaping on the front here, it's all, all nice and consistent, everything's held back in place. I've instated a little bit of a stone wall using some of the, the original stones from around the, the landscaping works here. And um, what, what that'll do is tie it in nicely with the existing work that were done probably in the 60s or 70s, I think. Mm -hmm. 